Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's psychotic story, Mirror Man. Hello there. Uh, my name is Jesse. I'd heard that this is a site where people would submit the stories that are, well, creepy. I've read a lot here, and mostly the stories you would read here are about monsters, supernatural things, serial killers, even haunted items. I've heard that most of these stories are actually true, but I never did believe it. I didn't think stuff like that existed. Well, except for the serial killers, I mean. My point is I always thought that these things were hoaxes, and, you know, just that. That is until the Mirror Man. See, I go to high school in suburban Massachusetts. It's really what you would expect a normal high school to be. Regular classes, everyone has their own group of friends, you know, the usual stuff. No, the school isn't haunted. No, it wasn't built on a Native American burial ground. Nothing like that. It's a completely normal school. But lately, let's say about and two, maybe three weeks ago, a rumor started floating around. It wasn't the usual rumor of who's cheating who, who's pregnant, no. This was more of those urban myth rumors you hear about. The guy who started this rumor, let's call him Tim. See, Tim was a well-known guy, but he was the one guy in school that everyone liked. And one day, he came in with an almost triumphant smirk on his face, as if he was parading around. One of my friends, Dan, had gone up to him and asked what he was so happy about. And Tim responded, I beat the Mirror Man, as if it was some sort of achievement. To which Dan asked, um, who's the Mirror Man? Now, basically, since I don't want to keep doing this who said what thing, I'm going to tell you who the Mirror Man is myself. This Mirror Man is the spirit who will appear if you say the words Mirror Man into a mirror three times when you're alone. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's another one of those bogus mirror tricks, right? Bloody Mary, uh, the Candy Man, that kind of crap. Well, we all tried the Bloody Mary thing when we were kids. We all found out that it was bullshit. No ghost popping up immediately left us disappointed, but relieved at the same time that nothing was going to come out of the mirror and kill us. And at first, well, I thought the same thing about this. Tim must have been pulling a prank or something, right? Our whole lunch table gave him our skeptic responses, to which he replied, if you don't believe me, why don't you try it for yourself? A few of us nodded at each other and just said, okay, and then we went back to eating our lunches. The rest of the day was pretty normal after that. I went home, did my homework, that was it. Now my mom and dad were away for a week on a mutual business trip, so I was home alone, though I didn't mind, because at least I still had the dog to keep me company. Time went on, and eventually it became nighttime. I'd just finished brushing my teeth in front of the mirror when the thought of that rumor came up in my head again, and I figured, you know, I'd do it if only to prove that it really was nothing. I turned off the lights, stood in front of the mirror, took a few deep breaths, and said the words... Mirror Man, Mirror Man, Mirror Man. I waited for what seemed like a good minute in the dark. Nothing happened. Uh, I had known it was fake from the start. I smiled to myself and went to bed, waiting to rub it into Tim's face. Morning came, along with school the next day. First half went pretty normally. Then came lunch. We were all talking about what we usually do when Tim came in. Only, something was different. The usual aloof look on his face had faded into an expression of worry. 
and deep thought. He never presented himself like this before. He sat down, slowly, and we all asked him what was wrong. He was silent just for a moment before saying, I saw him again. We asked who it was he saw, you know, eager to find out what was doing this to our friend, and he only gave the shaky reply, the mirror man. I rolled my eyes at this and I thought he was trying to pull some kind of stunt to get attention. Man, the mirror man isn't real. I tried that last night, I said. Tim turned to me and shouted at me, he is real. And I saw him again last night. He's coming for me. He said he would. This had caught the attention of other tables in the area as well as some of the teachers. The entire cafeteria went silent as he shouted, He's coming for me! Now one of the better known teachers grabbed him by the shoulders and escorted him out of the cafeteria. What exactly was going on here? Fast forward a few days later and the rumor of the mirror man had spread throughout the school to the internet to everywhere locally. It had become a craze by the time my parents had gotten home from their trip. I told them everything. Um, I had still continued to do the mirror man trick every night, but no matter what, I would never see the supposed spirit. Be that as it may, many other people in the school had apparently seen him even if they hadn't done the mirror trick. They'd just be staring at the reflection, fixing their hair, brushing their teeth, whatever. And then out of nowhere, their reflection would just distort. And it would turn into the mirror man. But why wouldn't he show up for me? I didn't understand it. I, this frustrated me. Upon the morning of last Monday, the entire school had been called into the auditorium. This never happened unless something really good or really bad happened. And with the recent news, I sure as hell knew it wasn't good. The principal of the school had stepped out with a grave look on his face. He walked up to the podium and Tim had died. The police found his body in his room after they'd broken down the door. I couldn't believe my ears was this really happening? No, it, it, it couldn't be. Well, how'd he died? Had he really killed himself over this whole mirror man thing, or was something else going on here? Later that night, I signed into the school's website. School had a chat system implemented where students could contact other students about when papers were due, help on projects, things like that. I was chatting with my friends and some other kids about the day's events. Then suddenly, a message popped up with the tag guest mirror man logging into the chat room. I looked at the message for a few seconds. Was this some kind of joke? Because nobody was laughing. He said nothing when all the other students called him out and all he did was post a link to a picture in the chat. The moderator banned him immediately afterwards. I clicked on the link apart from my better judgment and yeah, I, I wish I hadn't. What I saw in that picture will be sure to haunt me for the rest of my life. It was Tim, but it was his corpse. Pale, lifeless, his jaw was hanging open as if he was screaming. There were dozens of shards of glass dug into his skin, including two larger pieces that were sunk into his eyes. There was blood everywhere, and carved into his chest were two parallel lines lined up vertically with an X slightly overlapping them. I was appalled. I began to cry. He was a kid. Who did this to kids? Why, to him? Why had they done this? Instinctively, the first thing I thought was about the mirror man. Was he real? Had he really done this to Tim? All these questions buzzed around in my head and I started to feel nauseous. 
I ripped the cord out of my computer and the screen went black. I just sat there, crying. Over the next few days, things only got worse. More kids went missing. More ended up dead. And each time it was done, a picture of their corpse ended up on the school website under the screen name Mirror Man. Eventually, I just stopped clicking. I knew what the picture was as well as anyone else. The school got shut down by the police soon after that. The FBI started questioning people. But one thing I kept on my mind the entire time was, why couldn't I see this guy? If it was a spirit, even that didn't make any sense. I shouldn't be even be asking this. I should just consider it a blessing and leave it alone. But I wanted to know why. So one final time, I went into my bathroom. One final time, I turned the lights off and looked in the mirror. And one final time, I said, Mirror Man, Mirror Man, Mirror Man. My voice grew more shaky and more unstable each time, and my mind was about to snap, but I needed to know. And finally, I saw him. My reflection started to distort, and it was replaced by another person. He was wearing a pair of jeans and an olive green hooded sweatshirt, but his clothes were bloodstained. There were shards of glass sticking into him and impaling him like a, a pin cushion. His mouth was sewn shut and I couldn't see the rest of his face, but in his hand there was one bloody shard of mirror. I was petrified. How does one react to a serial killer staring him down? I didn't think this could be real. It had to be one big fucked up dream or a hallucination or something. I took a step back from the mirror, my heart thumping in my ears. Well, that was all I could hear. And surprisingly, he also took a step away. Being cautious, I took another step, and so did he. Where I moved, he moved in perfect sync, just like a normal reflection. I shook my head and well, there was my face, but my clothes had changed, and I was wearing an olive green sweatshirt and jeans, and there was a piece of bloody mirror in my hand. I looked down, and it was all true. There I was, wearing the exact same thing the mirror man had worn just a moment ago. No, no, this had to be another trick, I thought. The mirror man was fucking with my head. Then I saw... A blood trail leading out the bathroom door. I reluctantly followed it, and it led to the door of my parents' bedroom. I kept whispering in a hushed tone as if I was pleading, No. No. Over and over again. I slowly opened the door, and there were both my parents. Broken shards of glass going through them, two through the eyes, and the two lines with the X on their bodies. Now I know the reason why I couldn't see him, because I could always see him. I was the mirror man. I had done all those terrible things. It was me. So stay scary, wildlings, and make the most of your nights.